All right, everybody, how you doing? It's John, and uh, I'm John Messenger, John Disciple. You know, here to bring you the news of the return of Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior of the world. And uh, you know, God spoke to me in vision in my dreams, and has been speaking to me for quite some time, and showed me His return, who He is. And, uh, and I saw Jah light, he beheld his presence. And uh, it was really something beautiful and truly amazing in, in my life. Probably the single most important thing that's ever happened to me. <clears throat> so I want to share this good news with you. And, uh, you know, and, and uh, you know, I went to Jamaica years ago in 1995. I went down to Jamaica and uh, took a trip down there. And um, that was, you know, part of my whole journey at what God wanted me to see. And uh, in 1995, I went down and uh, spent time down there. Had a really good time. But, uh, you know, I had an experience and basically... Uh, you know, I opened the, the seal, I believe, you know, in the book of Revelation, it talks that one from the line of David will come and will open the seal so that the events will happen. And uh, that it would be sweet, but it would make his stomach bitter. And uh, that's exactly what happened to me when I went down there. And I went into the, the mountains up by Roaring River and uh, ate a huge mushroom cap me and this guy split it and I you know it tripped really hard and it was like but it was you know it was good but it my stomach got upset and uh, I was laying in bed when we came back to the, the grill and there were all these rosters around me and I heard from the earth I couldn't move I was laying in my bed and I heard coming up from the earth I heard I heard his voice and it was just going ja 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 it was so powerful and, um, you know, I felt, I got kind of ill and a roster brought me some coconut water and I drank it and it settled my, the nerves in my stomach. Because my, my, my nerves got, my stomach got all tightened up and, and the, that was the beginning of really the, the, the journey for me is, and, uh, you know, even afterwards the rosters they kept saying to me, we know Jaws with you because... And um, really anybody that tried to, you know, hurt me or hassle me, they, they all got... They got busted up, you know, and things would happen to them. And 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 the Rastas knew. And these, you know, I remember the two twins from um, from the grill. And they just said to me, uh, they said, "Oh, that you know, this person they're trying to hustle you, and oh, look what happened to them, and you know, all this stuff." And I, you know, not that I wished any bad on anybody. So, uh, you know, it was Josh Spirit who was with me because when you know whatever happened at that point. You know, it, it just, you know, allowed for, you know, his spirit to really come into me and to really uh, start showing me. And uh, I started having experiences of deja vu. And, um, you know, and I really, and I, let me just say, I really, you know, I love Jamaica and I love, you know, the, um, you know, Jamaican people and, you know, black people and, and their culture. And it's a lot of fun and they have a great time. They're not a, but you know it's disconcerting because later that you know what I began to realize is what it was that, and it's even very truly sad is that you know um, that basically the the Rastas are in denial of Christ, you know, and uh, if you hear the Bob Marley song and it's and he's saying, "I'm sick and tired of your ism schism, trying to go to heaven in Jesus' name," and we know and we understand that mighty God is a living man. And then it says, you can fool some people sometimes, but you can't fool all the people all the time. And now you see the light, stand up for your rights. But that is, you know, Bob Marley, and some of his music was very beautiful, but that's, a, you know, was really a, a kind of a slap in the face to Jesus, you know. And, uh, you know, people they are saying peace and love, peace and love, and they want peace and love, but they're dissing Jesus. So how can there be peace and love without the king of peace? And there can't be. So this is folly. And, um, 
You know, Rasta, you need to wake up and stop dissing Jai and, and praising Jai, you know? And, um, you know, I'm your brother, and, and you know, we're all family, and, and that's that. And, and that's the only way I'm going to see things, you know? Until the, the last day, my last day on earth, I'm going to say the same thing. Because I know all this war is all just folly, all of it, all this death, everything that's happened. And, uh, you know, it's... It's a shame, you know, it's a shame and, and because I know the Father and I know his glory and I know he loves everyone and I know he made the, you know, he made the herb and he made all these things for us to have, this great bounty. So, you know, how hard is it just to give thanks, you know, and, you know, for people that, that love weed so much, you know, how can you, you know, not praise Jah, you know? So it's a time you know to wake up because you know Jai is going to come forward and pe all these people that are starting all this stuff and they are people arguing about this and saying oh it's okay and we can fight with this one and talking about world peace but yet you know they're at war with God <clears throat> and and uh there can never be peace when there's a war with God so you know this is part of the facade that we're seeing in the world today <clears throat> and uh you know people that are you know saying peace but there's war in their heart and um you know, it's going to end. And, you know, when, and, you know, I, I've i seen the vision. I, I've seen and even when, when, when Christ does come and the Bible talks about him coming with a two-edged sword out of his mouth and he's using, he's uttering the Father's word. He's uttering the word of God. This is what's going to bring about the end of this age and, and the bringing forth the judgment and to slay the wicked. And, uh, you know, I had a dream about it. And uh, there were some very dark spirits and like kind of trolls. And I called out Jehovah and his name started thundering. And then they melted in front of me. And next thing you know, I was sailing down a hill uh, on my feet, like skiing down a hill with rainbows of colors coming out. And I just heard the father's name thundering. So uh, <clears throat> basically, you know, some people say, oh, you know, they may not agree with me, but... <clears throat> This is what's going on in the world. And, uh, you know, without Jah's word, <clears throat> there is no life on earth. There's no food. It's what produces everything, all the good things that we love. So, uh, you know, it's time to wake up, people, and, and be thankful to God and be loving and be loving to each other. And don't let people trick you into fighting because this is all nonsense. And nobody has a right or cause. There is no righteous cause to war and fight. This is all fab it's all been fabricated. It's a lie. Okay? So uh you know, this is a message to all you people out there, the Rastas, you know, to Christians, to everybody, Muslims, you know, Chinese people, Buddhists, you know, whatever, you know, it's uh you know, open up your hearts to God and to Jesus Christ because he is coming forth and there's nothing that can stop this him from coming forth. And when you do, you don't want to be held to shame, and you want to stand on, on a good grounds, and you want your heart to be clean and pure. So purify it, and pray to Jesus Christ, and, 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 and acknowledge him for his, for his worthiness, and for his, you know, magnificence. Okay, and uh, I wish the best for everybody. I don't want to see people hurt, but they're gonna, people are going to fall on their own swords. And whatever energy they're going to put out, it's going to come right back at them, and and uh, that's it. So I'm John Messenger, and I'm sending you the message. And the Most High sent me here, and this is my job, and this is what I have to do. And uh, it's okay. And um, better days ahead. But first, we got to get through this. Okay. So um, just remember, no peace and love without Jesus Christ in it, and uh, the King of Peace. And any war with him is <clears throat> is not a war you're going to win, okay? So I'll talk to you later. Hallelujah.